Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, um, a station where, whereby we are going to learn and um, um, experience together. We are going to have our biology from the lesson 21, whereby your tutor will be Mr. Gerard. Uh, we are going to unload the topic on uh, ecology under the subtopic uh, human diseases. But before that, we can have the following lesson goal, whereby by the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify the causative agents of bacterial diseases. Let us be keen on the lesson so that you might be able to answer any question about bacterial diseases. A disease is a disordered state of a, a tissue, organ, system or organism during which its functions are not carried out normally. In human beings, diseases result from genetic disorders, nutritional deficiencies or infections by other organisms and viruses. Um, in this lesson, we are going to look at uh, bacteria, uh, disease, protozoan, and also parasitic uh, worms. So the first bacterial disease that we are going to look at will be uh, cholera. Whereby for the cholera, this is a disease by, um, this is a disease by a bacterium known as Fibrio cholerae. Um, we are going to show you the shapes of the Fibrio, Fibrio cholerae. Uh, so this shows the shape, uh, the diagram on our screen, they show the shape of this bacteria. It is a killer disease in the tropics. The bacteria are normally found in infected water and are passed on by flies to food, thereby contaminating the food. People living in an hygienic conditions, for example where sanitation is poor and the domestic water supply is contaminated, can easily contract the disease. Once there is an outbreak of the disease, it spreads rapidly and can cause an um, epidemic. I want uh, I want us to look at the symptoms or the symptoms of this uh, cholera because uh, they might be very severe, so that you'll be able to identify them at uh, once. Uh, the incubation period varies between one to six days, depending on the magnitude of the infection and state of health of the individual. The bacteria reach the intestines and multiply la rapidly. They secrete an enzyme called the exposed intestinal wall then becomes irritated and damaged by the toxins produced by the bacteria, and this causes virulent diarrhea and vomiting. This is accompanied by severe abdominal pains. The disease develops rapidly and leads to general body dehydration uh, owing to the high frequency of defecation accompanied by loss of large quantities of urine. So those are the symptoms of um, uh, cholera. And now we can uh, look at uh, how to prevent or to treat this uh, disease. Sanitary disposal of feces and refuse is needed to prevent the contamination of water and food. Uh, the pit latrines in rural areas should be deep. They should be kept clean and uh, we keep away from uh, flies. Personal hygiene should also be maintained. Domestic water should be boiled and filtered or chlorinated before use so as to kill bacteria and their spores. Another, um, the next um, bacterial disease that we are going to look at will be typhoid, whereby uh, this is also a disease caused by a bacterium called, known as Salmonella typhi. We, these are the sal Salmonella typhi on our screen. The bacteria are passed out in either urine or feces. Poor disposal of urine and feces may cause contamination of the water supply from rivers, dams, and also lakes. Healthy individuals can be infected by taking contaminated water or food. Sometimes the bacteria can be present in sweat and saliva, and so the clothes and beddings of the patients can be sources of infection to others. I would like now we go to the symptoms of uh, these typhoids such that uh, you will be able to recognize them. Uh, its incubation period lasts for about a week, uh, two weeks, after which a fever and rash develop, followed by severe diarrhea. The bacteria attack the walls of the intestines and cause patches of sores. Patients are advised not to eat solid food as this might irritate the intestinal source and cause bleeding. In severe attacks, the source may burst and cause perforation in their intestines. This may result in death if the patient is not treated early enough. The bacteria invade the lymph glands around the intestines and then pass uh, into the blood stream. Having, no, um, having known the symptoms, now we can look on uh, ways of preventing or treating um, typhoid. There should be proper disposal of feces and the urine to prevent spread of the bacteria. Domestic water should be boiled or chlorinated before drinking to kill the bacteria. Hands and cutlery should be washed clean before eating. Fruits should be washed with clean water before uh, being eaten. Food and last should be clean and should be subjected to regular medical checkups. Healthy people uh, may be subjected um, 
uh, with attenuated or the weakened typhoid bacteria in order to provide immunity for at least two years. Treatment involves, uh, involves and mithering of antibiotics. Having done and said that, we can have the following activity whereby you are required to identify the causative agent of both cholera and typhoid. Uh, from, for more of this uh, lesson, you can refer to KLB, Secondary Biology Students Book 3, which is the fourth edition Nairobi, uh, Kenya Literature Bureau. And to get this lesson and many more of our biology lessons, you can sub, uh, subscribe or reach us through uh, sending us an SMS through the number that is appearing on our screen, or you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is the Limu TV, or you um, send us a message on our Facebook page, which is also a Limu TV, or you tweet us at Limu TV underscore Kenya. Let us subscribe to this channel so that we may get more of our biology lessons, which are very enjoyable. Thank you.